A player named Sizzy has recently released a mod called Click Between Frames, which has the potential to change the future of Geometry Dash if officially added into the game. This mod completely standardizes how the game plays from lower than 60 FPS all the way up through 240 and beyond, which makes the game infinitely more accessible to everyone, especially to those with lower end devices. Throughout all of Geometry Dash's history, you have needed to run the game at a high frame rate to compete at the top level, with input precision always being locked to the FPS you are playing on. This mod manages to completely undo that precedent. With this in mind, we would like to bring awareness to this and to push for Rodtop to officially add this feature into the game. As a brief aside, this is not meant to incite any kind of harassment campaign towards Rodtop. With that out of the way, let's get into this mod and how it works. In Geometry Dash, the game calculates the movement of the icon with what are called physics steps. A physics step is essentially a very small increment that the icon moves with 2.2 performing 240 steps per second. Let's say these are two different physics steps, or times the game calculates the player's position. As it stands now, if you were to make an input in between these steps, the game would not register an action in the game until the next step occurs, meaning there is typically a level of imprecision that comes with how GD pulls for your inputs. The game can only ever pull your inputs up to 240 times per second, due to 240 being the maximum amount of steps per second. Another thing is that the game currently can only pull your input once per frame, meaning if you go lower than 240 FPS, your position suffers as well, with 60 FPS being notoriously more difficult to play with. There have been attempts to fix this cap in precision, but they came with their own issues. Physics Bypass, for example, allowed players to go beyond the 240 steps per second limit, so that players running the game at 360 FPS or above could get the precision benefit of those extra steps. However, Due to the nature of physics bypass changing how physics work fundamentally, it was known to cause bugs across some levels, it gave an advantage to those with the computer strong enough to run the game at those higher frame rates. The use of physics bypass was also seen as controversial, and thus was disallowed by official groups such as the in-game leaderboard staff. The controversiality of physics bypass, among other concerns, has led many players to have completions on unofficial 2.1 private servers thus fracturing the player base between two versions of the game. So how does click between frames change that? Instead of only checking for inputs 240 times per second, the mod rewrites the input tracking to instantly detect when you click and release. With this mod, if you were to click in the middle of a physics step, rather than just waiting until the next step occurred, it splits the current step into two segments, with the second segment starting exactly when you clicked. This makes your icon register movement instantaneously, simulating having uncapped polling rate. And now the only determining factor that input precision is capped by is the polling rate of your device. To illustrate this difference, players have been playing with the polling rate equivalent of 240 or 360. The mod can make use of gaming mice slash keyboards that can reach polling rates of 1000 or even 8000 Hz, making the game several times more precise than it's ever been. A device that pulls from 1000 to 8000 Hz can also be bought for quite cheap. Mice such as the G502 or keypads like the Seo device can be obtained for only $20 to $40 and give you the highest end polling rate to fully take advantage of the system. Unlike Physics Bypass, this mod lacks the physics related bugs that came with Physics Bypass due to everything outside of the user's inputs still being run at the normal 240 steps per second. This means that the game gets to continue to have its unified physics that Rob has strived to create in 2.2, and the community gets to have a client that is both viable for top play and gives everyone the same experience. An important thing to note is that there are a lot of benefits to be had in terms of performance with this mod as well. Because the polling rate with this mod is uncapped across all frame rates, this means that for the first time ever, all frame rates are completely viable for top play, including 60 FPS. Not only does this make top level play far more accessible, but it also greatly reduces the need for LDMs, since you no longer need to get extremely high frame rates to play intensive levels anymore, and even lag spikes no longer affect the gameplay outside of the visual clarity of the level. This has the potential to make the game the least pay to win that it has ever been, since all you need to be able to beat top levels would be a PC that can run the game at a minimum of 60 frames per second. Since this mod has gotten into people's hands, there have already been runs done on low FPS that are pretty insane. For example, I got 49 to 95 on Slaughterhouse on 60 FPS, Jaeger and Doshi beat Bloodbath on 30 FPS and 20 FPS respectively, and Diamond re-beat Sekupin Circles on 60 FPS. None of these are possible in the current state of the game. 
If this was implemented into the game for everyone, it would impact the community in the best ways possible. GD would become several times more precise, players with worse PCs would be able to participate in top level play, and the physics would stay unified, all while bringing the entire community together around one version of the game. There's really no downsides to be had here, and this would just greatly benefit everybody in the community. So Robtop, if you end up watching this, we all think this mod would be the best solution to numerous issues the community has right now, and we would all love to see this implemented into the game officially. We encourage everyone to bring attention to this mod in the hopes that Robtop or those around him will notice and take action. As a reminder, however, do not bombard Robtop and the mod team with messages about adding this mod to the game. While we do encourage discussion, we don't encourage harassment. So thank you all for watching and have a great day.